listen, I'm self-aware, okay? And I realized that for the last few clips, I have been giving mole rat. This is a new channel. I'm starting over. I'm kind of like so-so on whether or not I should re-upload some of my old videos, but I realize that I'm a catfish, okay? I go from day to night with and without makeup. I know I look wildly different, okay? My first video, I feel like I filmed that whole thing without makeup on, so it looks like I am just photoshopping the shit out of my photos, and I'm not, okay? I just really enjoy makeup and, you know, years of experience of putting on my own makeup that I know how to shape shift, essentially. I'm gonna let my hair go into disarray over the weekend. It needs to be redone. I think I'm going to try and do it straight, like pin straight. And then if I'm not into that, then I will just go back and curl it with my blow dryer that's up on my counter over there. I wet a paper towel while my flat iron heats up and I'm gonna keep my cats away from it. They typically know like heat is a no-no. So they are pretty smart, but if you see them come near it, let me know, okay? I actually haven't seen my hair pin straight because if you saw my last video, when I did my hair, I did a blowout technique that just made it curly. So I don't know if I'll like it pin straight if I'm being honest, because when my hair has been getting flat, I've been like very much like, oh, I hate it. Nicholas, honey. I'm gonna need you to stay safe and away from mama. No, Nicholas, no, Nickel, no, no. Nicholas, I'm so serious right now, stop. He means well. I did a lot this weekend. I went to Pilates. I wore one of those sweat wicking headbands, but I did go to Pilates and then I went on a walk when it was really warm outside, so it was hot. You know, it's mostly straight, so we don't have to like reinvent the wheel here, you know? It is 7.05. I don't really have to start getting ready until 8, technically, so we're chilling. I'm chilling. I woke up at 6 a.m. this morning, and then I didn't get out of bed until like 6.15. I feel like I can be kind of lazy because it's already mostly straight. I feel like this is my problem section. <laughs> As you can see, it is like slowly reverting. I'm on my last section. Yo, yo. It's a section right here, obviously. I've already sprayed the heat protectant on it, so no need to worry about that if any of you were. What do we think so far? Gonna let down the rest of it? What do we think? It's shiny because of the heat protectant. So a big part of me wants to run the blow dryer through it. If I'm being honest, I know that I do not know how to work the blow dryer and it'll just end up super curly. So I'm gonna leave it pin straight for now and we'll give it its chance to shine. And then like, if I really get sick of it, we're going back to the, to the Utah curls, if you will. Oh my gosh, my hair is so much longer than I feel like I remember it being like, look at that, it goes down here. This is my favorite white girl hairstyle. I love a clock lip. Like I love when I see other people in a clock lip and I love putting in a clock lip. Like it is one of my favorite hairstyles for sure. One of my favorite like lazy girl hairstyles. Look at that. And I just can't do it with my curly hair and it's just, it just like doesn't work. Look at it, look at it, look at it. My hair also smells like flat iron. So if anyone has any tips on how to get rid of that, please hit your girl up like hit hit me up my favorite thing in the world is to dress like a school teacher like someone's school teacher this is the fit for today i have this sweater this is thrifted originally a j crew sweater and then i have this skirt that i got on melrose in la from a local vendor i remember paying a pretty penny for it i can't decide if i want this like sweater to be like all the way down so that it's like more intentional or if i just want to like tuck it a little bit up i think i'm going to keep it tucked a little bit up and we'll see how it feels throughout the day i currently have a problem where i cannot stop buying dunkin donuts like it is become an issue especially because it is literally on my way to work i can't stop myself i keep justifying it like oh it's so cheap like it's gonna be cheaper if you get coffee here than if you get coffee around downtown where i work but and that is true but also i could make coffee at home and i'm definitely not doing that so 
you know, this is where we're at. Thank you for your patience. What can we get started for you? Hi, can I just get the cinnamon vanilla coffee and a medium iced? Medium iced cinnamon vanilla, that's all for you? Yes. Go forward. Thank you. My favorite part of the day. This is my favorite part of the day. You know, the more I look at the pin straight hair, the more that I think it's working for me. I think it's working. Can you hear the birds? They're so fucking loud. The birds are like hilariously loud right now. Thanks. There's that. And a straw. Thank you. Here you are. Thank you. Have a good one. Good morning. I just went to Pilates. Um, everything hurts. I literally was holding my camera up. Like I was holding my phone. I was holding my phone up and it literally hurts so bad. Like it hurts so bad just to lift my phone up. Like I'm in so much pain right now. <laughs> But good morning. It's 7 a.m. I had 6 a.m. Pilates today because that was the only time open heart. I paid for it, so I'm going to get my money's worth. And I'm just really hyped up. You know, the pre-workout has really kicked in. And it is a beautiful day. It has been a very long winter. I live in Wisconsin. It's going to be 80 degrees for the first time. So I want to go on a walk before it gets way too hot later but i did have a taste of the sun when i walked out of my pilates room <laughs> and it was just so beautiful so i'm going to eat something i am going to finish my pre-workout put on like different shoes and then i'm gonna go outside and go on a walk and i'm actually really really excited so in my apartment building there are a ton of trails around so um the world is my oyster my arms hurt so bad i can barely lift them i'm in so much pain but i've been getting so strong and it's been really exciting okay i'm gonna go on my walk i like during pilates there was a moment where i like could not catch my breath so I took a couple shots of my inhaler. I already feel so much better. And now I'm walking. It is so nice outside. It is just like so unbelievably nice. I'm still on my walk and the sweatshirt has come off and the hair has gone up. It's 60 degrees currently, so we're doing pretty good. Also, I'm realizing that I've been pretty much in mole rat mode since I started filming. It just not has not been a makeup kind of weekend. Like, I tried yesterday. I genuinely tried to put makeup on and I hated it and ended up having like a little mini tantrum and like just like scraped it all off because I was like, I cannot. Like, nothing was working. And now I just really don't want to put any on. I'm tired. Anyways, I'm going to go see Pride and Prejudice. There is a movie theater that I really like that like serves food at you while you are there. So I am picking up my homegirl and we are going. We're seeing Pride and Prejudice and it comes with a complimentary mimosa. So, you know, sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> like Super excited for that. It's such a pretty day. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm getting a little tired because I've been just doing something all morning, but you know what? You live one time, you live once. Good morning, good morning. This is today's fit. This skirt was thrifted, but the tag says Knox Rose on it, if that's helpful to anyone. I haven't heard of that brand. This top is a top that my mom left actually when she came to visit me over christmas and i thought initially that it was ugly because of the sleeves if you can see them they're kind of like puffy and i told myself i would not wear them and yet here i am <laughs> here i am wearing it it's i need to do laundry desperately so you know we're making it work and actually on i don't think i mind it so it's fine these sunglasses are from Fashion Nova. I've recently been very into them. I haven't quite decided if I want to put a cardigan on or not. We're still, I think, I think I might bring one just in case it gets cold, but I don't think that's going to be like my 
thing. You know, I don't think I'm gonna wear it all day. Okay, I just checked the weather report and it's actually supposed to rain today. So I'm gonna bring the one jacket I have with a hood, which is this jacket I got from Fashion Nova, also for festival season. And because I'm supposed to be going on a trip to New York and I just thought I really would like a leather jacket, but I don't exactly have leather jacket money. So I will bring this with me just in case, just because it has a hood on the back. And if it rains, I'm really, really, really gonna want that. So two things, one, I have been oh so generously <laughs> donated a parking spot for work for the week. For context, parking at my job is very limited. Um, some people have to serve. Hello? Some people have reserved. Oh my God, I'm gonna kill you. So some people at my job have parking spots that they pay for every month and some people don't and there's a wait list for it. I. I'm on the wait list, but I do not have a reserved parking spot. So every single morning I have to fight for parking. But one of my coworkers who has a parking spot is going to be out this week. So I get their parking spot. I'm pretty excited about it. So I have a parking spot so I didn't have to leave as early in the morning to fight for a spot. And two, I told myself that I could pay for Dunkin' Donuts this morning if I could scrounge up cash to pay for it because everyone knows that cash is not real money and I have just enough cash to make this work okay I'm gonna turn my camera off now so that I can focus on driving but I'm going to Duncan and I'm a parking spot we're here at Duncan best part of my day I'm so serious this is my favorite part of the day. I'm so toxic. Like this is so toxic of me that I love this so much. Thanks for stopping. How can we get started for you? Hi, can I just get the cinnamon vanilla coffee iced in a medium? Medium iced cinnamon vanilla. What else are we doing? That's it. That's it for me. Thank you. There seriously has to be like a nest here or something because can you hear them? I think they're like, there's a light over there and I think they're on top of it. I think that's why they're so freaking loud. $4 even. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And the straw, you're all set. Thank Have you. Have a good one. Thank you.